Welcome back, everybody. Continuing on from the last episode when we had the Huracan with LaDawn driving that. And we had the F1 with Alex from Goosebumps Racing and Roscoe Hazard Motorsports in Eglardo. It's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds next mainline review supercar final. Oh, yeah, folks, we finally got another car that's going to be contender for that Nissan R390. Steve Huracan going up against Jimmy Pinkeye in that Jaguar XJ220. And a discrepancy from last race when we let Jimmy Pinkeye have the pole position twice, and that meant that the McLaren didn't get the chance at the pole. But looking at the final score, there was no way any car was going to catch up to that 17 points, even though our arithmetic was off, and he actually ended up with eight points at the end of the round. Race, race one. one. Big shout out to the viewers for pointing that out, and we're going to keep an eye on it from here on in, folks. Mistakes happen. Here we go. Race number one between these two, though. It's Steve going up against Jimmy, and Jimmy is out front in that Jaguar, way out front. And Steve ends up overcooking it in the 3D pop maker corner. Jimmy's going for a flatbed finish and just misses. Wow, they both end up on their lid at the end there, but we're getting word that the Nissan didn't even make it over top of the line. Steve Huracan is on his lid, slid all the way down the back straight on that, and there is Jimmy. Jimmy in between the flatbeds, always going for a finish there. And there it is. There's the Nissan upside down and rolling and tumbling and does not make it over top of the line. Folks, we didn't think that was going to happen with the Nissan. All right, there we go with a huge jump from the Jaguar, 26 centimeters. Then the Nissan coming through 19 centimeters. That's when he really starts to cook the gas and trying to catch up to that Jaguar. All right. Big blue replay. We can see the two of them are neck and neck all the way down the first straight, coming into the crash racers corner, and it's still swapping paint. That's when Jimmy Pink Eye gets a little bit of an edge, gets out front, and just cooks it all the way over top of the ramp, gets that big long jump, and there's Steve Huracan flipping it on the end of the 3D bot maker corner, loses control completely. Jimmy keeps a nice straight line and is going for the flatbeds on the top shelf. Just misses, but he's always making a shot for them. Jimmy Pinkeye gets race number one in that Jaguar with a 9.42 time and a monstrous 26 centimeter jump. First to the two and the three. Race, race two. two. Back up to the top of the mountain, we've got a lane switch. This time we've got Nissan on the inside, Jaguar on the outside. Steve, Huracan, Jimmy Pinka, here they go. Still nice and even all the way down the first stretch. Nissan is out front, man. He's skidding, he's losing it, slows himself down. Jimmy Pinka goes on the inside, makes a pass, and gets it by a bumper. What a great race that was. That means the Jaguar XJ220 with Jimmy Pinkeye has just beat the Nissan R390 in two races. Two up, two down. Wow, that was unreal that Nissan has held the top spot here at the Igloo Proven Grounds for a while. 19 centimeters coming through the jump cam there. Jaguar's coming through 18 centimeters. Excellent looking stuff, folks. All right, Igloo replay, we can see both coming down nice and even off the first straight. Those cars are fast, both of them. There we got the Nissan going up on the edge a little bit, but still, Steve Huracan, R390, gets out in front, gets a little squirrely coming down the midsection over top of the jump, and that's when he spins around, tries to do the backwards trick, but that Jaguar is too fast. It's too straight. Jimmy Pinkeye knows what he's doing, and over top of the line, half a car length, and he gets it. He takes down the top spot and becomes the new mainline champion. Jimmy Pinkeye in that Jaguar XJ220, 10.93 time and an 18 centimeter jump, but that means he gets the second race, two up, two down. He gets the new mainline review championship spot. Oh yeah, that R390's been there for a while, but now we've got the Jaguar owning the top spot. Jimmy Pinkeye, he's a regular here at the track. Check that car out, it's beautiful. Hot Wheels classic. That Nissan R390, Steve Huracan, LB12 Diecast Racing has held that spot for a while. And big shout out to the rest of the drivers, Alex from Goosebumps Racing in the McLaren, Roscoe from Hazard Motorsports in the Gallardo, the Don Juicebox Racing in the Huracan, all great performances today. And there it is, folks. We've got a new reigning champ taking over the crowning spot. And that is gonna wrap it up for this mainline event this time. Mainline review. Nice job, Jimmy Pinkeye in the Jaguar. He is the new car to beat. All right, folks, don't forget to grab that notification bell and set it to all notifications. You know the drill and smash the like button, folks. From Beaverworks Diecast Racing, 
we will see you next time.